As the reaper slowly moves across the rice field, collecting crops along the way, what farmers are practicing are different methods of farming in order to maximize harvest quantity. Farmer Liu Zhenyu utilized dryland farming in such ways to avoid the processes of growing seedlings and dibbling rice seedlings. The method also reduces water usage. Dryland farming saves up one third of water resources while cutting down labor cost. As this method in particular is practiced by modern farmers combating climate change. 对，我们是多方面考量跟气候变迁、跟停灌的问题，以及人力的问题，然后才去选择做旱地直播的尝试。Under climate change, the farming industry took a great blow, as a single water shortage could potentially make farmers suffer, battling for the right to use water resources with the Science Park. According to research by the Water Resource Agency, up to 2036. Xingzhu and Tainan Science Park will experience water stress, with Tainan lacking water resources 225,000 tons per day, 185,000 tons for Xingzhu County, 40,000 tons for Taichung City, and other four counties in the southern region of Taiwan facing a similar situation. From 2036-2065, in Taiwan, it is estimated that during high flow seasons, rainfall will increase by 3-9%, with dry seasons presenting a 10% decrease in rainfall. With a more extreme climate by 2050, crop production across Taiwan could potentially decrease by 10%. Not only agricultural goods are affected, the marine ecosystem is also heavily impacted. During the past 20 to 30 years, the sea water surrounding Taiwan experienced a temperature increase of 0.7 Celsius, two times the global average. With an increasing seawater temperature, it is estimated that by 2050, clam population would decrease by 20%, 90% for mullet, and 10 to 20% for tuna. So, under the drastic impact of climate change, food on the table is undergoing changes as farmers are adjusting farming methods while other industries ponder upon water resource usage. While food becomes harder to produce in the future, it is only reasonable to think of ways to preserve our ecosystem through acts of eco-friendliness. TVBS English News